I'm James View. And I'm Bob View. And, and together we're B and B Forge. All right, welcome back to the shop. Uh, for the guys that are on Forging the Ford or follow me on Instagram, what you saw at the beginning, no, uh, it didn't take a surprise, but a coworker of mine the other day gave me 41 farrier rasps and a leaf spring. No, uh, no questions asked, just gave it to me. I mean, you can't beat a guy like that, but it did get me thinking, um, it's time to make a new pair of tongs. Um, I'm gonna try something silly and go for a pair of box jaw tongs. I've watched a few videos. Um, it's gonna involve forge welding for the first time, so it's probably not gonna work, but we're gonna give it a good effort. So <laughs> stick around, let's see if we get this thing done. All right, so I'm gonna be starting with a piece of three quarter inch round mild, uh, about 12 inches long, roughly. So. That's what we're gonna start with to work on just making the edge just like you would on a normal set of tongs and then see about what we need to do to <laughs> make a box jaw out of them.
so last time y'all saw me, I was working on stretching these out. And I'll put it this way. That was a foot. It's almost three now. So I'm pretty happy with where they're at. So I just didn't feel like bringing y'all along for all that stretching out since it took over an hour. So uh, hard headedness and a lot of hammer hits can make it my go. So we'll go clean it up and hopefully get it ready for forge weld. The oak swamp bottom dew drop falling. My old Tom answer in a hoot house calling. Nothing like the sound when the day breaks. Me and daddy in the woods on a Saturday. You see his granddad. Hunted these hills and I hope someday that my kids will He said to do me a favor before I'm gone Love this land and pass it on Pass it on He showed me how to cast a line Where the whitetail live and how to read their sign Gun up against a tree so he could hold a barbed wire fence for me. Yeah, I learned a lot from watching his ways, like how to hunt smart and how to be safe. He said, One of these days, son, you'll be grown. Remember what I taught you and pass it on. Shotgun. He said, this belonged to your grandpa. It's yours now, son. So handle it with love and pass it on.
All right, so there they are. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but in the long run, I'm <laughs> kind of somewhat happy what I planned on doing was gonna go went wrong. Um, I did try to forge weld this to it. They were both hot enough, but I don't understand why they didn't stick or at least I didn't until last night when um, watching Roy at Christ Center Ironworks live stream last night. He made a comment that too much flux can actually prevent the weld from happening. And I think that's what I did. Um, all in all, I'm still happy with the way these turned out. So, these very rash are what I got them for. It ain't going nowhere. <coughs> so, they will definitely hold what I want them to hold. And being made out of that 3 8 inch, they are by far the beefiest things I've made. But with that being said, I need to get my hands on more of that. Um, I like that better for these tongs. But I need to learn how to forge well because stretching that out sucks so uh y'all can probably tell different shirt uh the other night when i was in here starting this i actually got to the point that i started to dehydrate so uh really didn't feel up to it yesterday to finish so i'm out here on saturday finishing it up and i've already consumed about a gallon of water gallon and a half of water in just over an hour or right about an hour so stay hydrated out there in your shops but if you like what i did give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down i don't care leave me a comment tell me i'm a moron tell me what i did wrong tell me what you liked but from bnb forge hit that subscribe button on your way out and i'll catch you on the next one